Hi everyone, welcome back to the Get A Brew channel. So today I want to look at the topic of when your brew is ready to bottle. Our recommendation here would be that you use a hydrometer to monitor fermentation. So very briefly to look at fermentation and what's occurring there is, so you've prepared your batch of home brew, you have it in your fermenter, um, you pitch the yeast, that um, kicks off after the pitch is what's called the lag phase, that's where we're waiting for fermentation to begin. So yeast activity begins, then it moves from lag phase into active fermentation. Active fermentation at that stage is taking the sugar in the wort and converting it into alcohol. So we move from um, active fermentation stage into the cleanup stage. So what's happening during the cleanup stage is the krausen, which is the large amount of yeast that you'll see that sits on top of the wort, it starts to drop out and that term is called flocculation. So um, the yeast is flocculating uh, to settle in the bottom of the fermenter. So we've went lag, active, cleanup stage. Why are we allowing a cleanup stage? Is because if you're brewing a lager, you want to get rid of the sulfur. If you're brewing an IPA or something else, you just want to allow it a period of time for a diacetyl rest. Um, without going too technical, diacetyl could be that buttery taste that you could end up in your beer, an off flavor which you don't want. So you allow this period of conditioning or resting stage to ensure that you're making good quality beer. So when is your brew ready to bottle? It's really simple if you monitor it with gravity readings. So you want to be taking gravity readings using your uh, trial jar and, and hydrometer. So draw a small sample off the fermenter, take a gravity reading periodically. If the gravity reading remains stable for a few days, then you know that fermentation is complete. Now there is a thing called stuck fermentation, which we'll be covering in another video, and that's possible. But in this particular case, we're, we've been brewing a Belgian triple in-house here, and we want that to finish at a slightly higher uh, gravity because we want that residual sweetness to carry through into the beer. So we've dropped the hydrometer down into the trial jar here, and we can see that we've reached our final gravity. There's certain terms you'll hear me talking about on the channel here, and we'll try at some stage and, and do a reel to run through what they all mean, but um, when it comes to reading a hydrometer, you'll have original gravity, OG, or SG, starting gravity, and then you'll have FG, final gravity. So starting gravity and original gravity are the readings that you take before you add the yeast. Uh, final gravity is the reading that you're taking whenever the yeast has completed its activity and you're ready to move on. There's lots of online resources for ABV calculators and you can download the apps onto your phone. It means that then you then plug in the starting gravity and the final gravity and it works out the alcohol percentage for you. Now there is, in relation to when your beer is ready to bottle, there's other things that you could do. You could add finings, um, you could cold condition, you could filter. I don't want to complicate that on this video. So if you're making a, a basic beginner starter kit, one of the experimental beer kits that we do here, the instructions have the starting gravity and the final gravity on them. If you've checked it and you know that that is at the final gravity, then you can proceed to the bottling stage. Now, when it comes to bottling, most beginners start with bottling conditioning, as it's referred to. So what you're doing is you put one level teaspoon of brewing sugar or a carbonation drop per 500 ml bottle of beer. You cap that. And then what happens is secondary fermentation takes place and the beer carbonates itself. The beer needs to be kept somewhere warm for that period of time. Um, usually one week will allow that and then be patient with beer and give it a few weeks conditioning. We recommend two weeks. So when your beer is ready to bottle, it's gonna differentiate from beer style to beer style. Gravities are gonna vary, but don't be afraid of that. Some lagers could take six weeks to brew. Some IPAs could be brewed in a matter of days. And IPAs are probably the exception to what I've just said about being patient because hops fade, you want to bottle and enjoy IPAs fast. Whereas lagers, um, sour beers, barrel aged beers, those more complex beers, they benefit from a period of time conditioning. So when's your beer ready to bottle? That's it, as simple as I can make it. If you need any assistance, 
in knowing when your beer is ready to bottle, don't hesitate to pick up the phone and ring our free phone number and talk to one of our team in-house. Ping us a message on social media, stick us a comment down below, we're here to help you. So if you want to know how to read a hydrometer, we've done a video already on that on the channel and I'll drop a link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, until next time, happy brewing. is the yeast is shut that door please <laughs> yeah. it's like naked attraction here with John <laughs>